So the weather is looking clear tonight down at a nice dark sky site in West Virginia, Spruce Knob. So we're gonna drive down there, about four hour drive from Pittsburgh, and hopefully do some night sky time lapses and nightscapes. Faces filled with sadness When words are said with regret I can see the fight that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say that we break up Finally made it, Monongahela National Forest, Spruce Knob area. They definitely got a dust in the snow the last few days, but we'll find a campsite here down by the lake, hopefully. Awesome, we got the tent set up. We're gonna have a little bit of food and relax now. Let's start. Again to a place a long time ago when I kissed your lips. I can see the fire. All right, we just had a little bit of dinner. We're gonna take a few photos around the campsite and nap for a little bit, and then a few hours we'll go down to the lake and set up the cameras to do some Milky Way shooting. Okay, for this time lapse, I'm using an intervalometer from Amazon, it was about 20 bucks. I set the delay between exposures to one second and I was using 30 second exposures with the Nikon D850 and the 24 to 14 millimeter lens. I was shooting it to f2.8 and ISO 8000 just because the f2.8 lens doesn't let in as much light as my f1.4 lens. Okay, so to do 30 second images with a delay between one photo you would set the long setting to 30 and you set the interval function to one second and I have it set to take an infinite amount of photos which just means it'll run until your memory card is full or the battery dies and basically from there then you would just hit start and then walk away I had a time lapse going over here by camp I'm gonna stop that and then head on over to the lake. I'm gonna get two time lapses set up and for planning I use photo pills. That's where I know to position the cameras because I can see where the Milky Way is gonna rise. You can probably see some ice crystals started to go on this one. So it's perfect time to get this one stopped. Okay, we're packed up heading to the lake. Now, for planning, as I said, I like using photo pills. It's an app for a phone, and they have a great augmented reality function where you can position the camera and see where the Milky Way is going to be any day of the year at any time. So you could do your daytime scouting and see where the Milky Way is going to be at. I'm going to do that when I set up the time lapses down there. And, uh, and then I'll do some tracked exposures. For all the time lapses, I'm going to do one second intervals and either 15 second exposures or 30 second exposures depending on which camera and uh, lens. Okay, we're down at the lake now. I'm setting up my first time lapse. I'm using the Nikon D850, the 14 millimeter lens. I have the aperture set to f2.8. I have the ISO set to 8000 
and I'm doing 30 second exposures with one second between each exposure just so each file can write to the card before the buffer gets overloaded. So the intervalometer is programmed to do that and we're just going to click start and we'll walk away and let this one shoot until the battery runs out or likely until the lens fogs up. <laughs> so the Milky Way ri is rising right there where those zebra stripes are at and we will wait it's going to be rising more. We have the foreground with the stars going, and it's going to be uh, pretty cool looking. Let's see. This is the hard way to battle. We can't be hard Okay, I'm going to set up the second time lapse now with the Nikon D750 and the Sigma 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. I'm using a different intervalometer this time. It's one from Time Lapse Master Gunther Wegner from Germany, and I'm trying it tonight for the first time. It seems like it's gonna work. I'm gonna use eight second exposures with two second intervals, ISO 8000, and we're gonna aim it at the Milky Way rising above the tree line with a nice 50 millimeter lens. So it'll give a nice zoomed in look. Well, so after an hour and a half of shooting, the 14 millimeter lens on the D850 fully dewed up because it's 20 degrees out. So it actually has ice on the lens now. And unfortunately, I didn't bring my dew heaters, which it's definitely gonna be on my list next time to make sure that I bring the dew heaters, which will warm the lens just so we don't get frost and dew forming just because how moist it is uh, down here by the lake. Alright, well, we had a great time imaging tonight. Despite the frost, we got two time lapses and did a handful of tracked exposures. And everything looked pretty awesome. Here's a little bit of live view of the Milky Way right now. It's like 4.30 in the morning, so we're going to head back to the tent. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed following along. Despite the cold, we managed to get two time lapses and a lot of tract exposures and a few panoramas. So we're definitely eager to work on that data and hope you guys can learn from it as well. <laughs> this is the Babe, what are we having for breakfast? Some Sandos. Peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> Alright, peanut butter and jelly it is. Had a great night last night. A lot of frost though. So next time I'm definitely going to bring my little dew heaters and those will keep the lenses warm. Because there obviously is a lot of humidity here that I keep forgetting about. Alright. Okay, the campsite is cleaned up. Leave no trace. Looks like we didn't even spend the night there we're gonna go drive to the actual summit it's Bruce Knob check it out do a little bit of hiking Bruce Knob still got some snow don't Matthew <laughs> 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 Don't! <laughs> <laughs> I said not to! Spruce Knob now, highest point in West Virginia. They got a pretty cool fire tower just down this trail, so we'll go take a look. Show you what a good time looks like
to better You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better I dare you to be wild Definitely want to come back and shoot the Milky Way here at some point. Basically, the core of the Milky Way would rise over this way in the southeast. So it would give a nice arcing panorama view from the trees all the way back over here to the core. So that'd be a fun one to shoot at some point, maybe later this summer. That's all she wrote for this trip. We got plenty of data to edit. There's multiple time lapses. Did some drone of the sunset. Got the tracked Milky Way exposures. It's going to be a fun one to share, and I hope you guys can learn from some of the shooting techniques. And if not, then obviously you can still get out and enjoy West Virginia. <laughs> well, we had a little bit of ants. <gasps> <Let's see. laughs> <laughs> No, you don't have to. It, no, it might not.